equity. Number 11, judges are to be impartial. They're to hand out even-handed judgment. If a man is to be trusted to judge between man and man, he may deal equally between them. The 11th equity. Also, if a man can be trusted to judge between man and a man, it's a precept of the law of nature that he deal equally between them. For without that, the controversies of men cannot be determined but by war. He therefore that is partial in judgment doth what in him lies to deter men from the use of judges and arbitrators and consequently against the fundamental law of nature. And that's the cause of war. The violation exception of persons prosopolepsia. Enjoy the comments collectively. This is the twelfth law of nature by Thomas Hobbes from the Leviathan. Divide things up that can't be commonly enjoyed. Such things as cannot be divided be enjoyed in common. If it can be, if the quantity of the thing permit without stint, otherwise proportionably to the number of them that have right, lottery chooses who gets to own not common property. The entire right or else, the first possession of any object which can neither be divided nor enjoyed in common may be decided upon a method of lottery. First possessor owns it or the first born, those things which cannot be enjoyed in common nor divided ought to be adjudged to the first possessor and in some cases to the first born as acquired by lot. 15. Peacemaker envoys have free passage. All men that Mediate peace, be allowed safe conduct. 16. Submit thee to a judge whenever there is a controversy, argument, or fight. That they that are at controversy submit their right to the judgment of an arbitrator. 17. A man cannot judge his own case. A man is a, is no man is a fit arbitrator in his own cause. 18. A judge can't have any conflicts of interest. It's immoral and incorrect for any person to take upon the responsibility of a judge in any case. In which greater profit or honor or pleasure apparently ariseth for him out of the victory of one party than of the other. Judges must judge each man equally and use witnesses when evidence is scant. Number 19. In case of a dispute regarding the facts of the case, it is the duty of the judge to give equal weight to the testimony of both parties in the absence of adequate evidence. Such a judge should pass verdict on the case based upon the testimony of other witnesses. So that's the natural law. That's, you know, 11 through 19. That's Thomas Hobbes, baby. That's 1651. Leviathan. That's some Leviathan right there. All 19 of the laws of nature. The first one is pursue peace for as long as possible. Then war. Number two, be willing to agree to a social contract. Number three, justice and respect contracts. Be graceful, accept gratitude, number four. Number five, be sociable, number six, forgive and pardon. Number seven, give out rational punishment, justice, not revenge. The eighth, against contumely, don't hate or have contempt for others, or at least don't show it. Keep thy hate and contempt to thyself. Number nine, all men are created equal, political rights are universal. Number ten, don't be arrogant for peace talks, use fair procedural rules, whatever floats your boat but doesn't sink mine too. Equity, judges are to be impartial. Number 12, enjoy the commons collectively. Number 13, lottery chooses who gets to own not common property. Number 14, first possessor owns it or the first born. 15, peacemaker envoys have free passage. 16, submit thee to a judge whenever there's a controversy, argument, or fight. 17, a man cannot judge his own case. 18, a judge can, can't have any conflicts of interest. Number 19, judges must judge each man equally or use witnesses when evidence is scant. And that right there is the 19 laws of nature. Why is Thomas Hobbes talking like this? What the hell is the problem? Thomas Hobbes coming from the Enlightenment. He's saying that we can use logic and science to figure out our own. He says if we don't use logic and science, then the state of nature, we're just it's everybody versus everybody. All versus all, every man versus every man. And the life of man is solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. Solitary, poor. Nasty, brutish, and short. The life of man is no good in the state of nature. Thomas Hobbes knew that because he just came out of the English Civil War. It lasted for nine years. 200,000 Englishmen were slew. They were slewn. Nine years Civil War lasted from 1642 to 1651. And it was the parliamentarian roundheads versus the royalist coneheads. And the good guys won.
The good guys won the English Civil War, just like the American Civil War. The good guys won. The English Civil War had to do with who's going to run England, the king or parliament. And the parliamentarians won. And the parliamentarians won. Just uh, rule 10. Hobbes points out uh, some of our human needs. We have a right to water and a right to air, a right to govern our own bodies, bodily autonomy, a right to motion. So even if you lock us up, we have a right to, to dance, a right to transportation, a right to transportation. I have a right for bus travel. That's what, you know, hop, hop the train, hop, hop, I'm going to hop the train. All things else without which a man cannot live or not live well. So not just those things. Right to air, right to breathe, right to water, right to motion, right to govern our own bodies, or right to transportation, and all those other things that we need so a man can live well. So there you go. Thomas Hobbes, everybody, and the 19 Laws of Nature.